We did it. The Blackbird has taken flight. We are proud to announce the successful maiden flight of our Blackbird Nimbus Raider, marking a major milestone in our mission to revolutionize air mobility. Have you ever imagined a propeller lying on its side, spinning like a paddle wheel from another world? It sounds impossible at first, almost like a scene from a futuristic film. Yet such a machine has been shaping boats and inspiring aircraft for more than a century. This sideways spinning design is called a cycloidal propeller, and its past is filled with bold ideas, unusual experiments, and engineers who dared to rethink how thrust should work. From early flying prototypes to modern tugboats and advanced drones, the cycloidal propeller has proven that true control comes from completely reimagining motion. Early origins and strange new ideas. The story begins in the early 1900s, when inventors everywhere were searching for new ways to control the movement of aircraft and watercraft. In 1909, a Russian engineer tried something unusual. He built an aircraft with a sideways paddle wheel like rotor on its belly. It failed to fly well, but the idea fascinated many. People were stunned that a spinning disc with vertical blades could create thrust in any direction, rather than in a straight line. A few decades later, the German company Voith took the idea and perfected it for boats. They mounted a spinning drum with upright blades under test vessels in the canals of Venice. What happened next amazed onlookers. The boats glided forward, backward, sideways, and even spun around without turning their hulls. It seemed like magic, but it was simply the power of controlled blade angles working together. These early demonstrations won attention at world fairs, and soon ferries and tugboats were adopting the new system. Inventors also wondered whether these rotating drums could make aircraft hover and fly smoothly. Boeing even tested a small cycloidal aircraft model in the 1920s. Although aviation versions were ahead of their time, the idea refused to disappear. Engineers and dreamers on both sides of the Atlantic kept returning to it, certain that it held untapped potential. Why marine vessels depend on cycloidal thrusters? Traditional boat propulsion relies on a spinning propeller in the back and a rudder to steer. This setup works, but it requires space to turn and react slowly in tight areas. A cycloidal thruster is entirely different. Each blade on the spinning disc can rotate its angle many times per second. When all the blades change together, the system can push the boat in any direction instantly. This gives ships a level of control that feels almost unreal. A tugboat with cycloidal thrusters can spin a huge ship around like it is playing with a toy. It can nudge, pull, and push with careful precision. Ferries in narrow waterways benefit too. Early Venetian passenger boats and fireboats moved between tight canal walls with surprising ease. Today, dredges, research vessels, icebreakers, and offshore supply ships all rely on cycloidal systems when the job requires exact movements. These vessels often operate in strong currents and rough conditions. The thrusters help them hold position, slide sideways into docks, or rotate without drifting. This level of maneuverability is why cycloidal systems are still widely used in the modern marine world. When you watch a massive ship glide sideways as if pulled by invisible strings, you are witnessing the graceful power of cycloidal thrust. Modern advances and the rise of the Dynafin system. Cycloidal propulsion has not stopped evolving. In 2023, ABB introduced a new system called Dynafin, which reimagines the concept for the 21st century. Instead of a single spinning drum, the Dynafin looks like a row of vertical blades beating together like a graceful whale's tail. Each blade has its own electric motor and its own tiny brain, which means it can steer and generate thrust at the same time. There is no need for a separate rudder. ABB claims this system can reach an impressive 85% efficiency, which means less fuel burned and smoother operations. Picture a ferry docking with almost no effort or noise. Imagine an offshore ship holding its exact position in rough waves without wasting energy. The Dynafin shows that cycloidal ideas are still very much alive and full of potential. It also reflects a shift toward cleaner, smarter marine technology. Engineers are exploring ways to make ships more efficient, quieter, and easier to handle.
the Dynafin appears to be one major step towards that future. What started as a peculiar paddle wheel concept has now become a symbol of advanced eco-friendly motion on the water. Cycloidal rotors take flight. While the marine world has long benefited from cycloidal systems, aviation engineers never completely gave up on the dream of making them fly. A cycloidal rotor in the air is a horizontal wheel with blades sticking upward. By twisting each blade as it spins, the rotor can produce upward lift or sideways thrust. This allows an aircraft to hover like a helicopter while staying level, then accelerate without tilting its body. In 1921, Frederick Kirsten created a model aircraft using cycloidal propulsion. Boeing even tested it in their wind tunnel. Although mechanical limits made early designs difficult, the idea left a lasting impression. Today, powerful electric motors and high-speed computers have solved many of those early challenges. Cyclotech, a company in Austria, is building a six-rotor EV toll called Blackbird. It uses drum-shaped cyclo rotors that can tilt thrust instantly. This lets it hover, change direction sharply, fly forward smoothly, and even move sideways in mid-air. Cyclotech claims the aircraft can perform a mid-air parallel park, something no traditional drone can do. Hobbyists and universities have built smaller cyclo rotor drones, and NASA has explored the concept for possible future missions. One ambitious proposal from the 1990s suggested a giant cargo airship that could lift 200 tons using huge cycloidal thrusters. The idea was wild, but it showed how much passion engineers felt for this technology. Cycloidal flight systems are still rare, but the progress being made today hints that the future might include more of them. Their greatest strength remains the same full 360 degree control without the need for the aircraft to tilt or lean. Materials, digital tools, and smart systems. The evolution of cycloidal technology has been powered by new materials, advanced simulations, and digital manufacturing. Early rotors were made with heavy metals and simple mechanisms. Today, engineers use titanium alloys, composites, and lightweight carbon fiber. These materials are more durable and reduce weight dramatically. Additive manufacturing, especially 3D printing, allows engineers to create complex internal shapes and customize geometries that were once impossible. These improvements not only increase performance, but also reduce cost and production time. Testing methods have improved too. Engineers now use computational fluid dynamics to study airflow and water flow around each blade. Finite element analysis helps predict how parts bend or break under stress. Once virtual tests are complete, prototypes enter wind tunnels or water channels to confirm their behavior. Another major change is the rise of smart control systems. Sensors can measure blade load, water pressure, or air turbulence. Computers can adjust each blade in real time to maintain stable movement. Machine learning algorithms can even predict how the system should behave before a change occurs. This is pushing cycloidal propulsion into the age of autonomy. Engineers imagine future craft that move like living creatures, aware of their environment and reacting instantly. DIY innovation, open source design, and urban mobility. Cycloidal technology is no longer limited to large corporations or specialized labs. Thanks to online communities, makers and students from around the world now experiment with their own versions. They share designs, test results, and even mistakes. Open source CAD models and tutorials have allowed anyone with curiosity to explore cycloidal motion. Some build marine thrusters for small boats, while others create tiny flying robots that demonstrate the beauty of 360 degree thrust control. Urban planners and mobility engineers are also paying attention. Future aerial taxis, autonomous delivery drones, and compact flying vehicles might use cycloidal rotors to navigate tight city spaces with ease. These rotors can change direction instantly, making them ideal for weaving between buildings or landing in small spaces. Their potential for quiet operation could also help reduce noise pollution in crowded areas. As technology blends with renewable energy, smart sensors, and digital fabrication, 
cycloidal systems may become a natural part of future transportation networks. What once seemed like a strange curiosity is now shaping ideas about how we might move goods, travel through cities, and design the flying machines of tomorrow. The journey of the cycloidal propeller is a story of imagination, persistence, and bold creativity. From strange paddle wheels on early aircraft to the sleek marine thrusters of today, these rotating wonders continue to push the boundaries of motion. They make tugboats dance, let drones glide sideways, and inspire designers who want total control at their fingertips. With new materials, smarter algorithms, and cleaner power systems, the future feels full of promise. So when you see a ship slide sideways, or hear about a drone that can move like nothing else in the sky, remember that innovation often starts with one simple idea. Spin the world differently.